What up free bosses? In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on what I did for this funnel, some of the little tips and tricks that I did, and then some design tips that I did with this funnel. So let's jump into it. Okay, starting from the top, you'll see the header right here. Now this company actually does a call-in order system, which is really cool. So, and it's actually been helping a lot to close more deals. Now these, this company is based out of the United Kingdom. So that's why you'll see the phone number here is definitely not uh, US. So we have the phone number here in case they, the prospect is more comfortable with purchasing over the phone, then they can have that ability. We have the order now button, where if they click this button, then it instantly scrolls them down to this order section right here. So that's what is in the header. And then when we size it down to mobile, it just stacks up nicely just like that. And I was trying to make it take up the least amount of space possible here in the header area because on a cell phone, if you can imagine, it's gonna take up about one third of the screen. So moving on to this section right here. Now this main section is what I always like to call the main section. It's kind of like the main lander section. Um, so this is one section and then these are three or well, a couple different rows inside the main section. So first we have our main big headline, and I really tried to make this main big headline stand out by being really big. I bolded some of the words like sleep better, like I'm really trying to grab people's attention with that sleep better phrase right there. And in order to accomplish that, it's really simple. You have your headline um, element, and then you just select a bold color right there, and all your other text color would be black, and then you just make whatever word you want to stand out, you just make that bold and it turns it blue. So it's that simple. Um, with this section, this blue section, I put in a little backdrop um, so it's kind of standing out. I put in a little, actually I guess I did it on the element side of things. So I made the background color a little bit white, it's kind of see-through made the edges round, all that kind of stuff, just to make it pop out a little bit more. Then this section below it has a video, it's a two column section, or two column row, sorry. Um, on the left side, it has just a couple qualifying questions. Do you toss and turn at night? Do you consistently wake up? Do you snore often? Well, continue reading to learn how thousands of people around the UK are sleeping 10 times better every night just by changing their pillow. So we're kind of qualifying them. If they say yes to these questions, then chances are this pillow may be a good uh, solution to their problems of not getting much sleep. Now this video right here is an autoplay. So typically I'm not a fan of autoplaying videos, but the type of video that this is, it's not too intrusive. When it does start playing, it's just a very low um, music that starts playing and it's just very non-intrusive. So that's why I decided to go ahead and have this as an autoplaying video. Now with this section right here, um, I am having a little border. I'm really trying to make it stand out a little bit more. And I put the text and information on the left here because when it sizes down to mobile, that's what's gonna show up first. So I'm really trying to grab their attention with this line of text. And then with this little bit here, I'm not really relying on the video to grab their attention. If I wanted the video to really grab their attention and it was that type of video, then I would move it up and kind of change places with the text in the video so that the video being on the left would show up first when it sizes down to mobile. So another thing that you'll notice is that this is really big font, right here it's 54, and then on mobile it sizes down to 28. I would always recommend doing that with all of your funnels is sizing down the main headline text to be smaller on mobile. Now, after that little section right there, they should have a good understanding of the problem that we're addressing, obviously the solution, sleep better while reducing night sweats, muscle tension, neck pain, all that kind of stuff. So then we're really trying to introduce the actual product. So we're showing pictures of what this pillow is that will help them sleep better at night and will keep them cool at night. So these images right here, these are image pop-ups. So it means that if somebody wanted to view the image closer, they can click on it and it makes the image a lot bigger. Now that is actually the, the preview version. When I switch back to this page, it's the live version where this is the editor version. So under showing the actual images, and this is how it will 
format down to mobile, it's going to stack those images, left being first. So right here, the left one is always going to be on the top. When you're doing these three column rows, the left is going to be on the top and the right is going to be at the bottom when it sizes down to mobile. Really important to know how your stuff is sizing down on mobile. So then we have our big promise, you know, really explaining exactly what this product does. And I really try to put all this very important information in the highest and top part of the page so that when they visit this page, they don't have to do a whole bunch of scrolling to quickly understand what the product is, what the problem is that it's addressing and the solution and all that kind of stuff. So it says here, the gel pillow keeps you cool at night while the contour shape helps to remove any muscle tension um, tension in your shoulders, neck, allowing you to sleep deeper so that you can feel refreshed and ready to take on the day. So as you can see in this main section right here, they're going to see the product, they're going to see a video, and I'll show you the video real quick, about the product. You know, it just goes over some of the features and benefits of the product in this video. And then they will pretty much make the decision if they want to keep learning about the product or if they want to just go ahead and leave. Um, but I just wanted to make it very upfront and easy for them to quickly understand everything about this product. And then I like to put the order now buttons. I don't expect the first time visitors to go ahead and click order now, like right away from this, just landing on this thing and then clicking order now and buying it. The reason why I have these order now buttons here at the top and just in the main section is really for returning customers. So if somebody's already visited this page, maybe once, twice, or three times, and then we're running our retargeting ads and driving them back to this page, then when they come back to this page, they can easily click order now because they've already gone through this page multiple times, learned all about the product, and really it's just time for them to purchase. So these order now buttons all just scroll them down to this section right here where they can put in their information really quickly. Now, right here is where I have just more pictures and GIFs of the actual product. So what I did to create these GIFs is I first shot a video, edited the video down to just small little section piece, uh, small, like maybe five second pieces. And then I imported it into Giphy.com and turned that video into an actual GIF image and then just imported it into ClickFunnels. And the cool thing about GIFs is that they actually autoplay on mobile, where these videos, these YouTube embedded videos, they don't autoplay on mobile, where GIFs do. So GIFs, I would say, have more of an advantage because of the autoplay um, part of things. And so I would recommend using GIFs. Um, the downside of GIFs is that they are kind of large in file size, so they are gonna make your your overall page load slower. They're gonna make your overall page size a lot bigger. So that's something to consider. And that's why I didn't do too many GIFs. I just really wanted to do three GIFs, give them a lot more information about the contour shape of the picture, I mean, of the pillow, and um, show them you know, how easy it is to squeeze and how it retains its shape and all that kind of stuff. So GIFs are great for that. Then we jump into the section, why everybody loves their pillow. So this is very, uh, feature benefits, you know, it stays cooler so you can, you know, sleep really good and not get hot. It reduces neck pain so you can, you know, helps your shoulders. Really remember to also push the benefits. And then why everyone loves this pillow? Well, it's because we have an amazing return policy. So with a pillow, obviously people are going to want to try it first, see if it's really comfortable, and then make the decision if they want to keep it or not. So really pushing the return policy is pretty key because we're like, hey, if you try this pillow and you don't like it, you can always send it back after 30 days. No worries. We won't be mad at you. We'll take it back. <laughs> so really stressing that is important. Then I have another image here just really showing the product, showing its shape, the little pillowcase that it comes with, kind of a sleeve. And then I have another video embedded here, which is really it's basically taken from those GIFs. So in this video, it just is close-ups on the pillow, just really showing how cool the pillow is, really. Um, so a lot of just close-ups of the product, really explaining the product, explaining the problem that it solves, really making sure that the prospects understand that, and then having order now buttons sprinkled in throughout. So if they do wanna purchase at any time, that button is right there. Now these, fonts definitely are going to size down 
when it's on mobile. So again, I cannot stress that enough to really make sure that all of your large headline fonts are going to be smaller when you come down to mobile viewing. Now in this section right here, read what our customers have to say about us. So this is really the social proof section. This product is already selling on Amazon. So I just basically took a bunch of screenshots of some of those reviews and threw them into this funnel. All of these review images are pop-ups. So they're not with this. You have two image options in ClickFunnels. You can either have it just be non-clickable, which means that it just stays its size. Like this one right here, you can't really click on it. It just stays that size. Or you can have it clickable, which means that it kind of makes it larger so that it's easier to read. So I made all of those um, pop up a bowl so that you can easily read it in case you need to zoom in on it. But again, these are just screenshots from Amazon. So just kind of social proof area. Now this is the order area. So explaining the offer, um, you know, right now it, it's on sale up to 75% off. You can order today. It's fast free shipping. Here's a countdown timer that will then redirect them to another website. Um, once the timer is down, I mean, at zero, and then just a couple more social proof testimonials showing that people love this product and how it's a good buy for them. Then we have a two-step order form. I chose to go with the two-step order form just because I wanted to test it really. So um, they put in their name, email, phone number, shipping address, and they go to step number two where it actually shows the pricing of the product, information like that. Um, one thing that's really good about this two-step order form is that when they go to step number two, instantly their email address and phone number is actually saved for you. So if you wanted to follow up with them with an email automation series, let's say that they they went through step number one and then went to step number two but didn't complete their purchase, well then you have their email to then follow up with them through email marketing and stuff like that. So with this section, we have a big headline. Just imagine if you were able to get the perfect night's sleep every night. Um, this is the future casting section really trying to say, look, imagine if you did, if this pillow does solve all your problems, would it be worth it for you to go ahead and try it out and risk you know, taking the leap of faith and seeing if this pillow is going to work out great for you. So that's kind of the last little bit of the funnel. One last thing that I want to tell you about is these credit card logos. It is crazy how much your conversion rate will increase just by having these credit card logos. I think it's all subconscious and subliminal stuff, but I definitely recommend having these credit card logos on your funnel during the checkout process because for some reason, when people see these credit card logos, it increases your conversion rates and it builds trust and credibility. So I hope that those quick little tips were able to give you some value and really teach you some stuff. So definitely try and test around with these different things that I showed you. Test putting an order now button in the actual header. Um, test putting more order now buttons, putting a lot of product images. Test having GIFs on your landing page and stuff like that. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.